So the holidays creeping up on us, and so might those unwanted holiday pounds. But we aren't the only ones we need to keep an eye out for when it comes to watching the holiday wait. Our furry family friends need some extra attention during this time, too. So joining me now, Dr. Christian Broadhurst from the Clay Humane Society. And this is Monkey right here. Let's start with Monkey a little bit, because Monkey yeah. is up for ad adoption. Monkey is. He is about 10 or 12 weeks old now. He's a... Uh... Um, he's well named. He's quite uh, the climber, and he's very good at making biscuits too. He also he loves likes long it. walks on the beach. Oh, I can always count on you for a moment like that. Look how cute that face is. Isn't he a good boy? So something we have to be really worried about: feeding our pets maybe a little too much during yes. the holidays. Yep, uh, as we tend to overindulge, um, we often <laughs> overindulge our pets as well. Yeah, um, it is. And we were talking earlier about foods you don't want to, you know cost your pet. You're, everyone's guilty for it, you know? Exactly. Your so, dog's just looking at you, your cat, you're like, okay. And you're eating a piece of turkey and you want to give them some. Um, we definitely do want to avoid the, we definitely do want to avoid the fattier foods for our, our kids. It can definitely push them into pancreatitis. So what are the fattier foods that we're talking about that really you see very common each year? Oh, uh, we're seeing lots of turkey, lots of turkey skins, lots of chicken fat. Um, you know, bacon is, is, is a, a common offender as well. Mm. And if we want to stay away from those because those can lead our animals to pancreatitis, to stomach upset, and of course obesity, which is, is a huge problem for all of us. Yeah, how can you tell if your, your cat or your dog's getting a little chunky? Well, the, the way we typically monitor obesity in animals is body condition score. And that is how much meat is on their little bones because you can't say a five pound weight loss, a Great Dane five pounds is much less dramatic than a Chihuahua five pounds. Yes. So we want to look at their ribs and can you feel their ribs? Do they have a waist? Monkey is perfect because he's a little baby and he's still nice and skinny, but you can feel his ribs without seeing them. And he's got a nice little abdomen versus, you know, a lot of our, you should have a bigger chest than belly and a lot especially with dogs bigger chest and belly and you should be able to feel their ribs yes you shouldn't be able to see them but you should be able to put your hands on there and feel them very easily is there a moment that you know maybe uh fluffy's getting a little chunky yeah if you got to push to feel the ribs or if the the body goes straight from chest to abdomen without actually diving in a little bit then you know we're putting on a couple of pounds so at that point what do you do we, just like us, diet and exercise. And by diet, I mean basically controlling the amount of food they eat. Um, you can you can switch diets uh, to low calorie or weight loss diets, um, but that tends to be not nearly as effective as simply limiting the amount of food your dog gets and taking them for lots of walks, lots of exercise. Is it true that if you give your dog maybe broccoli or green beans, that's a healthy alternative? That is one of my favorite diet plans. It's called, we call it the green bean diet. And absolutely, dogs and cats get pretty much nothing out of veggies and greens. So if you're looking to cut your dog back but don't want him thinking you're starving him to death, green beans, carrots, celery, broccoli, things like that are all things they can eat zero calorie involved. So we actually like that. Is there any foods mm -hmm. to be careful for that maybe seem healthy to us, but dogs and cats cannot have it? Definitely. We don't like onions. We don't like raisins. Avocados, believe it or not, can be a bit sketchy. Um, a lot of nuts as well. Stay away from those. A lot of good information. Thank you so much. And again, this is Monkey, who's ready up for adoption. Just contact yes, the Clay Humane Society. Absolutely. All right, Monkey, let's find you at home. We'll be back after the break.